All right, <clears throat> uh, so no weak, new guild war. Um, we've already broken the stronghold, so we're getting in there. This time I looked at the notes beforehand, and I uh, took a bunch of teams down. Uh, let's see if it saved them. Okay. Oh, cool. Okay. Uh, so this maid is like 220-something, speed 220-ish. Um, I'm going to get outsped, I think, regardless. Uh, I'm going to be outsped here regardless by her, because my... My DJ Basar is like 118. Uh, let's see. So that's so she's gonna put her buffs up, which is, it's gonna suck. He's 190, so he'll outspeed him, and she's gonna be really slow. So the plan here, she'll put the buffs up. He'll boost up. She'll do this, uh, which leaves her being vulnerable. I think. Yeah. So she'll have the block. So he, no matter he, who he hits, whether it be him, him or her, won't do anything. Um, she'll have three stacks The idea is s2 her and then she'll die Hopefully s2 into the s3. I have the artifact that um, Pushes the threshold up to 75% to get the s1 um, I don't know here's hoping she does enough damage to just kill her uh, she'll revive obviously But at least she won't have the attack buff and this whole team is a lot more manageable uh, in that way um, and the next thing to do would be to just kill her the second time and then focus on her. Uh, the biggest problem is going to be his AoEs are going to keep hurting her and he's going to have attack buff the whole time, which is going to suck, but um, we'll see what we can do. Uh, but yeah, that's that's what it is. So hopefully I can kill her right away just because her constant AoEs are going to be a huge pain. If it's just these two, I mean his, his AoEs are, are a huge pain too, but it is what it is. Um, hopefully she can just... Hopefully she can just uh, S1 her and, and S1 him to death and then the S3 will come in and maybe I just kill one of these two or probably S3 him um, and then he won't come back you know, at some point. But yeah, so there's that. I'll play it out as it goes. These are just sort of the thoughts that I went going in. Um, she'll be here consistently damage dealing other people so I don't have to worry about it so much. I say consistently but she's kind of slow. <clears throat> So that's the, only, that's the only thing I'm worried about is she won't be fast enough to stop what's going on with S10. I don't know how much effort she has. Nobody reported it. Uh, but yeah, so that's the plan there. Uh, I don't think it'll go too well, but I do kind of want to see what she can do uh, in a Guild War scenario. This is the first time I'm using her. Uh, down here, this S10 I hear is fast and does a lot of damage. So she's going to S3 her. Hopefully she doesn't have a lot of effectiveness. Um, <clears throat> the bigger problem is he has the defense break. That's going to be a huge pain. It's probably going to kill it. We're probably going to die specifically off the, the defense break from him and then her following up. So, so that's the only scary part. Um, I can apply defense buff and then hopefully he can kill him and then make it easier for her to do her thing. Um... Yeah, now that I'm thinking about it, I think I might change. I'm gonna go with that. That defense break is really bad. Um, everybody here is tanky. He's got defense buff. Um, she's giving them HP imprint and all that. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, the only the reason I had kind of Ruel there was like was worrying about Crow one shotting somebody, but he's got like twenty five thousand HP. So hopefully, I can. Um, I can just tank it out with uh, like healing, have everybody topped off, and then he'll H he'll hit somebody. Because usually, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, uh, I guess that's it. Let's see. Probably won't put as much thought into the other ones. Um, it's like the main one. Wow. Okay. Uh, this. Okay, so I outsped. So she's either 220 and I just won the RNG, or because mine's 218. He's 218. Um, okay, so that's very interesting. Let's do this. I was thinking maybe I could push. Um... Wow, she's pretty squish.
Okay, so what my hope is here is with um, Cigarette, hopefully she'll do enough damage to SSB with this and transfer a lot of it onto him and they, like he'll proc his passive and you know basically not well his immortality and then she'll die and then come back with no uh, attack buff so he goes well, she's already at let's see how much this damage this does oh wow she died okay I think what might have what might make this easier would be like if I had um I mean, I think it's fairly obvious, but it would have been a little bit easier if I had... Uh, what's her name? The other one? If I had Sinful Angelica on this team. I mean, I have her, she's just not built yet. Um, she doesn't hit too terribly hard, I didn't check that HP for some reason. Um, okay, so he's gonna AoE. Should be fine. Well, he's probably gonna do a lot of damage, the thing is... There's nothing I can do about it, so like provoking him is still gonna AoE, so it doesn't matter. Um, provoking her isn't gonna do very much, and provoking her isn't gonna do very much because she's already attacking her anyway. Um, yeah, I don't know who she's attacking with her S1, so I guess I'll just provoke her if I can anyway. Wow, she's very squishy. I need to see how much HP she has. And she's dead. Okay. Okay, so let's, let's see if I can. Wow, that guy has some serious resistance. He's gonna hit him. I don't think he's. Well. How much damage this does? Not too much. Okay, cool. So I'm kind of happy with Secret. Um, okay, I think we're in some trouble here. Wow, she got the two stuns back to back. Okay, so people are going to get revived. Um, question is... Well, I'm going to save this, so when she revives one of them, probably... The SSB seems to be easy to kill, so I'm just going to like... S... Well, they both are now, I guess. Yeah, I'll deal with that. I'll, I'll cross that bridge when we get there. She's got no F res. But she... She, uh... What's it called? She hit her twice. Which is pretty irritating. Um... I think here, I don't want to kill you first. Okay. Okay, maybe not. Oh, dude. And he's not dead. I don't know what's going on there. Um, well, this will kill both of them, so I'm just going to do this. Okay, cool. So let's let's try this attack. <clears throat> Penetrating like thirty percent defense or something like that. There we go. Okay, that went a lot better than I personally <clears throat> was thinking. That's pretty cool. Uh, the second one, a lot of our teammates have lost to this one. I don't know if you might have seen up there in the corner, but a lot of our teammates have lost this one. Uh, so it does make me a little nervous. Uh, let's put. Let's put this up right now. It's a waste of a heal, granted, but uh, defense break is no joke. And they're all water, so I don't know who... I don't know who s 10 is going to throw her, uh, her orb at. Uh, let's start getting some damage on you. Okay. She's got 92. Okay, so they're focusing Momo, which is pretty good. Do I want to risk this? Uh, ML Ken doesn't have attack buff, so if if I was going to risk it, now is the time. 
Um, because once he has attack buff, there's there's no. Um, oh, and I didn't crit. Cool. Uh, so that's that's great. Um, I'm gonna save that to cleanse the. Oh, this is bad. Oh, okay. <clears throat> So let's see if he lands it. 17, 18k HP. Let's see if he lands it on Momo here. Oh, he didn't land it anywhere. Cool. <coughs> okay, so I think I should heal her now. See. I don't really want to hit Crow, but I have to. So this is fortunately his Crow. So having a fast Crow with such high HP, I mean, you want more HP on Crow. That's kind of like a general thing you want. But having him have such high HP that like I can kill everybody around him before he's like low enough to do anything about it is where the biggest problem lies. Uh, so let's. Let's heal her, so they're gonna target Crow. Yeah, so like his HP is so high that I, I AoE'd and I still killed everybody before he could S3 me. Um, so that's kind of like the good and the good and the bad of it. Okay, let's see who Crow's gonna hit. So yeah, he's targeting on my Crow now, so that's good. <clears throat> he's got 16k HP. Um Okay, so now this is this now it's tricky here because he still has attack buff. If he hits her, he hasn't been hitting too hard and he's got a lot of HP, so let's just try this, see what happens. Okay, cool. Just barely. <clears throat> okay, so he's got about 16k left. His, this little this line right here is the one if it gets below that he'll s3 so this is a good this is an interesting point here so I think I'm just gonna s3 him because yeah I think I'm just gonna s3 him let's So if I S3 him, it's going to be her turn. I'm going to S3 her, so she's back. He is just going to be sitting there, so we're going to have to focus him. He's probably going to kill somebody here. If he kills Crowl, I mean, it's going to suck, but it is what it is. The defense buff also isn't very useful because, again, he's just going to S3 somebody and it doesn't really matter. Um, okay, so he's going to take a turn, and we're all going to take our turn afterwards. Yeah, I think I'm just going to S3 uh, right now. I don't, really want, I don't really want to be dealing with this, um... This can right now. Oh, I don't have it yet, okay. <clears throat> okay, so now... The trick is going to be... So he's targeting Crow, so chances are... When his S3 is up, he's gonna hit Crow with it, so... Or, yeah, he's just gonna hit Crow with it. So what I'm going to do here is try for the taunt. Okay, cool. Okay, so now... Not 100% home free here, but it's, it's, it's looking pretty good. So taunt, he's gonna taunt me. Uh, okay, so now he's gonna S3. Actually, I don't know who's gonna... Oh, okay, so let's... Uh, okay, so the, the reason I'm going for this first... Because I can decrease his combat readiness. It's a 100% chance to do it if he doesn't resist, right? But this is only 75% chance. And then there's a resistance on top. Um, yeah, I don't really have a choice. I kind of have to. Yeah. Oh, he resisted, actually. Okay. He's going to hit somebody for what? Like... Oh, okay. She might die. Oh, man. That Aureus... I don't think she would have died anyway, but still, it's, it's nice to know why Aureus uh, is there. Hey, what happened? Oh, you don't take the sleep doesn't come off until 
you hit the get past the shield. That's kind of cool. Uh, let's just I don't know. I don't know why I'm burning it. Um, I just just cause why not? Wow, that shield is no joke, man. Okay, so basically it's one, which is pretty cool. Uh, 69 turns left. Let's do this. Alright, so it's not as laggy this time. Uh, the the main thing was I had it because if you like Nox, lets you do in different, um, lets you have different like play modes, and I was playing it in um, tablet mode uh, just for the higher resolution. But um, yeah, I just kind of figured, well. If I'm lagging all kinds, I'll just put it down to like smartphone mode or whatever, and then, uh, you know, whatever. It's fine. Oh, wow. <clears throat> this became weird. Why did nobody tell me he had uh, Holy Sacrifice? It's not the biggest deal, but it means that, see, now this is one turn, so he'll have a turn, and then after that he'll S3 again. I've kind of shown that I can survive his S3, but this time it's getting dangerously low. Put him to see if I can put him to sleep. Oh, of course. Okay. So he should die anyway. Okay, that's cool. Uh, put him to sleep. Come on. Oh my gosh, dude. Uh, okay, so that went well. Um, stronghold, two successful attacks. Um, I think I got lucky. Um, the first one was lucky that uh, Cigarette didn't die. I forgot, like, she almost died a few times there um she may be nervous we'll, we'll say that um so i got lucky there um so far we've all had a lot of trouble with this one uh, beast panda did pretty good um from what it looks like this second defense is what gives people trouble uh but yeah so i got two more attacks i usually let's see where is the other i want to attack the other stronghold just to you Get some more havoc here. Uh, this team. Um, we don't have info on this team, I don't think, so it doesn't really matter. So, with this team, I like. See, so normally I like taking Euphine into a team like this. Um, but last time, uh, Krau was there. Or not Krau, what's his name? Kron. Uh, so he, he gets he makes it kind of scary to do that. So this time let's see I'm going with this uh, Okay, so we'll I'll think about that in a second. Uh, we'll have you you and you okay, So this this team looks pretty good. I think There's no defense breaks happening here. So I think Not a whole lot of. Uh... I'm thinking maybe running Ruel here. This is kind of interesting. Maid Chloe is getting more and more irritating as, uh, as time goes on. I think this I think this is good. I think um yeah, I think I'm good down here. Up here. This is the only sketch one cuz I'm an S3 SSB. If he counters, she's going to die. Yeah, I think maybe I'm just going to S3 Charles um then work on SSB a little later. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna ask, I'm just gonna ask three Charles there. Um, again, this one's like um, the the stronghold is the main thing I wanted to do, so well, it's not it's not a big deal. Oh, you know what? I just realized there's a good chance I probably won't kill this Charles just because uh, I forgot to give her an attack buff. This is only a temporary alliance. 
Uh, okay. Let's do this. Oh, that was see, see that was a bad idea because uh, now the first person on their team that's going to attack is going to be uh, Fallen CC, and she's just going to take off my uh, skill null and apply her own. So then, basically, I applied skill null for no reason. Um, let's just do this because this because when she attacks, okay. Yeah, I miss those kills a lot. Um, it's a combination of two things. Like, for one, he's people are building their their uh, their t little tanky. You see, if he had built like a, a high damage dealing um, Charles, usually like twelve hundred, like pushing maybe thirteen at the max. Um, but people are starting to build more um, tankier Charles, which I mean, it's all right. It's just if I had the attack buff there, he'd be dead. Um, I just don't have anybody that I was conf confident with uh, in that in that scenario there. Uh, this SSB, I don't I don't think I agree with it. I mean, she she did that and it did no damage whatsoever. Uh, I'm just gonna hit him before I S two uh, just because don't want to deal with it. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, this SSB hasn't done anything. There's nothing I can't uh, deal with. Okay, so here's another S2. Euphine is, is holding up pretty well, which I, is good. Uh, in this case, it just makes it easy to attack um, Focus SSB because like she's got she had the skill null, and I'm just putting damage on her anyway. Okay, so let's do. If I hit her, yeah, I'm just gonna hit her. And nothing happened. Okay. Oh, I got the stun. Okay, cool. Okay, so she has the defense break. Ooh, this is bad. I mean, it's not, it's not horrible. It's just not good. Thirty-eight. Okay, so now I think, yeah, I knew it. Okay, so his S three is up. Okay, so this, this should be. It should be pretty done because um, Yufin has her S3 now, which I'm just going to dump it all into um, Yufin there. Uh, you. Well, I won't take the shield off anyway. Okay, so that's good. Uh, so let's just do this, yeah. So she should be dead. This, is, this should be over. Okay. It's interesting Cigarette has extinction on her S3, considering how much setup it takes to get to the point where she can extinct somebody. Uh, like in Guild War, it's not wholly useful, because you really need to kill one of these people like right off the bat, like with a one shot. And the fact that it like needs setup isn't wholly that useful. You have to like S2 somebody first, and by the time you S2 someone, you're gonna kill them, and they're just gonna get revived because, as you saw when I was fighting against them. Um, that made Chloe earlier. Like, there's no way I would have killed. Well, okay, that SSB was like less tanky than he than she should have been. I don't remember what her HP was, but she took way too much damage. Um, on the opposite end of the spectrum, here you have uh, an SSB with way too much health and not enough damage. Um, but yeah, like under normal circumstances, I mean, there I'm, it's still a gamble, but like it's a lot safer to go in with someone like Lilibet, who's who has a soul burn on her S3, which is only ten souls, um, which makes it easier to one shot people. Uh, the problem is, it's like that's why you run Kron to guard against uh, her, because the cigarette, like I said, is not the big, is not a big uh, issue. So th the thing you're blocking for is going to be uh, the grass, the grass unit, which stops revives. Now, everybody here has a lot of speed, and it's kind of weird. Let's see what. Uh, okay, so well, damn, that is a lot of damage. Okay, so let's uh, let's heal you up. Um, this defense buff should go some way towards mitigating um, the damage we're, we're taking here. And wow, she landed that. Uh, let's see. Let's just do this. 
Okay, so so I think the biggest problem here is they're they're too fast. Um, they can turn cycle way faster than uh, I'm comfortable with, and she's gonna be focusing on SSB for some reason. Uh, so here's here's the thing. I might kill her here. We'll, we'll see how this goes. Uh, but she'll revive and still be sort of a huge threat. So yeah, and I didn't even kill her. So this is the other half of like why you don't want to. Um, let's see where am I going? Let's do this. This is the other half of why you don't want to make them too fast. Balls! I think she's dead. Oh, she didn't die. Off of not critting. Um, is when you're when you're too fast, the revive buff wears out faster. Um, but in this case, obviously, that's not the case. So let's do this. Okay. Oh, come on. Oh, this is this is this was my fault. Um, I'm complaining for no reason, but yeah, this is my fault. I should have um, brought someone to that I knew was gonna bait her well enough. Uh, okay. So I'm saving. I'm gonna save this S3 to just to, to wipe her out. Um, so I'm gonna do this here. Wait for that uh, revive buff to fall off, and let's heal you up because they keep attacking you for some reason. Okay. She healed herself there. And of course that happened. Which kind of sucks because I don't have to heal him. <sighs> That's such horseshit, dude. Okay, so. Yeah, Chloe is annoying, so. Let's watch her get the stun. Nope. Well, she should be targeting Crow anyway, I think. Um, let's see how this goes. Okay. Come on, take. Oh my god, dude. Okay, so Lilius and her are dead, which just leaves her. So I'm just gonna have to kill her through the through the this buff here. So let's do. Yeah, so I'm gonna wait for the S3 again, unfortunately. So now she's back. So now I can S3 her safely and not worry about it. Oh, I swear, dude. She's gonna get the stun. Oh, okay, cool. So it's over. Let's just burn just for style points. So the last guild, the last few Guild War videos, I got kind of shat on. Um, it's kind of weird because they were like lower tier. This is the top 100. We're back. We're breaking back into the top 100 teams again. Um, yeah, no, I guess it's mentality wise. Like, I mean, obviously, I, I think I mentioned as much in the other one that just like wasn't in a very good uh, mood to be playing Guild War. I just sort of wanted to get it over with. Uh, but today I'm a little more. Uh, keen on just actually trying to do a good job. Um, okay, so this whole they just hit the fort and left. Um, I like to just like wipe these out just to get them like stop burning, but uh, I don't want to go into this. This looks irritating. Uh, I guess I'll pause and I'll come back after I find one. Okay, so I went with this team, with this uh, fort here. Um, this bottom team is just perfect for SSB. Um, I can just focus on her and him. Uh, his AOEs, I'm gonna do, or I'll probably focus on her because his AOEs, I'm gonna do a lot of damage because we're all water. Um, his defense break, you know, she'll cleanse it and then he'll just take damage and then uh, hit Crow. Uh, yeah, so I mean that probably just gonna leave him alive and have him um, feed SSB. Um, over here, 
There's just a, a, a bit of damage coming out of here, so I think I'm worried about this here, but that's all right because I can just uh, cleanse it with this. Even if he has Ayelas, um, the defense break and the attack break are first, and since I have immunity, they won't do nothing, then the cleanse will be after. Um, I'll probably kill him first, and then just set up for killing him later. Um, just because this defense break will be up before I, I, I like it to be, so that's the main problem. Uh, but yeah, I think uh, this, this should be fine. Hopefully she, she does enough damage and, and you know she does enough, I guess, is, is the bottom line. But yeah, we'll see. I, want something, I need something tanky that can do a decent amount of damage here, but uh, I don't know. I couldn't really think of anything. I mean, I guess I could take... You kind of take uh, what's his name, Charles. Uh, he might be pretty good, but I don't have counter set. I want you to ideally want counter set and have him sitting here, and then he'll hit him. So he'll hit him, and then these two will just be AOEing, and then causing him to kill them and all that. Um, the other main thing is I don't want him dying unexpectedly. Um, I'd rather him just like I kill him when I'm ready to kill him. Uh, is the main thing there. Um. Yeah, I guess I guess that's it. I don't think S10. -E, there's too much AOE for S10 -E here. Okay, so let's just do that. See how it goes. Uh, I won the first two, so I'm feeling a little more confident with this one. I'm just gonna kind of like, yeah, Ravi is what I bring when it's like, ah, you know what? It's no big deal. She's not that good, but she's also not like the worst. Um, yeah, so let's, let's take a look here. So now I'm kind of interested. I think let's see, let's S3. So sometimes it's good to save the S3. Uh, well, a lot of times it's good to save the S3 when you're fighting um, an Avil, because then he'll uh, revive and then just try to S uh, S3 you back, and you'll have the the skill null. But I think I want to try this. Okay, yeah, she didn't do enough damage. She needs more stacks. Well, at least this is one S3 uh, that's been negated. Okay. Okay. So he does have Ayala's. Sit you. So I'm gonna focus you. I didn't trigger, which just kinda sucks. Oof. Um let's hit you again. Okay, so now let's let's drop this. Hopefully this will kill him. Okay, crit. That's good. Okay, he's I think he's dead, yeah. Alright, cool. See? Everything went according to plan. Just like I Oh, what the? Does he have? This is only a temporary it's kind of weird. I don't. He he like dual attack like every time. That's pretty disturbing. Um, I'm just gonna save up souls and soul burn. Um, Rabbi's S three. Well, how many stacks? Uh, it'd be cool if you could see how many stacks you have. Uh, let's just kill. I should check to see how much uh, HP he has. Let's just hit him. 36. Okay. Oh, I forgot he heals. Might have killed him with that S1. Let's just hit you. But he has a crit. Wow, you can get that off of the... Um... I didn't realize you could get that. That's weird. Uh, did he get the defense break? Okay. Uh, let's do this again. I love that line. I don't know what she says. I mean, I guess it's just what she says in English and Japanese, but that, that, she has two voice lines when she has threes. Uh, that line in particular, though, is, is, I love that line. I don't know why. Just the way she says it. I guess it's phonet it's phonetically pleasing. Uh, let's do, let's hit you with this. 
Okay, so that's how I didn't. Okay. I don't know, it was just weird. It just felt weird. Uh, he's got a defense buff, but let's just do it anyway. I think her, her, she's got max stacks anyway. Good. Wow, 8800 damage. That is sad. Like, even if there's a defense break, even if he does have a defense buff, that's still pretty pathetic. Um, let's just hit you with this. Okay, so now I can just sort of uh, taunt lock him, I, th I think. I don't know if I'm fast enough though. Uh, I think this should kill him. Okay, cool. So round one, down. Uh, that was the one I was most worried about. Um, let's take a look at the second one. I am like... Is it one or three? I think it's three levels. I'm three levels away from maxing his Aureus. Uh, I don't know if I want to max the Aureus, because like once you max the Aureus, you can't take it back. Right now it transfers 19%. Um, the question is, do I want the full 20? Because, I mean, he does die sometimes, but I don't know. We'll see. Uh, let's see. There's Who do I hit here? So just hit you. I'm going to take this, uh, this thing off of you. Oh, wow. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. Uh, she's coming up next, so if he does too much damage, I can heal him. Okay, that's good. So let's do... Let's hit you. And then we'll hit E. Well, damn. Uh, let's hit you. Okay, cool. This is 1500. See, this is a this is oh wow, there's no crit on this. This is a slightly higher, um, uh, slightly lower HP can. I think they only had like 17 or 16 or something like that. Um, that leads me to believe he's probably oh well, that sucks. Was so 15? Can I take him now? I don't think I can. Um, oh, slept cool. And there that goes. Okay, so this is this this. Oh, let's just let's not risk this because uh, do I want to heal him I think I do because the thing is annoying me is um, yeah I just need I, I'm gonna put the, the immunity uh, the thing that that's annoying me here is uh, this this lady over here keeps hitting him and taunting him. So there, now I don't have to worry about that anymore. He's gonna S three, I think Momo. Let's just let's just heal everybody and see what he hits. Yeah, so he still hit her. He's still gonna die, which is fine. Okay, cool. Uh, let's just yeah, let's just hit him. Okay, so I need to heal her as soon as possible. Um, she's got defense buff, he's got the attack buff, but I'm, I think I'm feeling a little ballsy here. Let's just do this. Okay, I didn't crit, cool. See, that's why it's kind of good to not have a lot of crit on uh, your SSB. And so the dang no, it's getting kind of dangerous because I think Ken is just gonna attack. Let's just hit him with this. Let's see if I can taunt. Please taunt. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that was the only thing is since Momo has the lowest HP, I was thinking he's gonna he's gonna hit her. But like now that I got the um, the taunt up, she's she's relatively safe. It's at sixty nine hundred. So I think yeah, unless uh, I was gonna S three him. I gotta wait. Oh no, he's got buff block. Cool. Just heal you, just in case. Thirteen thousand HP. So we'll hit you with this. Oh, please don't. Oh my god. It would have. Well, I guess I can just slowly whittle them down with this. Oh, okay. Never mind. She just died. 
And there we go. Again, burn them to style. Okay, cool. So, all three successful attacks. Um, stronghold, Fort, and then some random guy over here somewhere. Uh, we're still looking it looking like we might lose this, I feel. Let's see, we have 38 tokens left. Have, we have 39, they have 38. Yeah, we have about the same amount of tokens, and they're beating us by like seven, uh, what, like 1,500 Havoc? Yeah, I don't think... Uh, let's go see how my defense is doing. Probably, oh, I'm being attacked. Oh, very interesting. Uh, I don't know what's going on here. Uh, so this is my defense. This is this has been here since like forever, and it's probably just gonna stay here like this. Um, the only thing is, I feel like making Charles a little tankier, but I need I need to make him tankier to a degree. Like 17k HP is, is not. I think it's too much. You're you're sacrificing way too much damage at that point. But I think 14, 15 would be pretty decent. Uh, if I if I and that's you know I'll I'll put him there if I can get him to stay at like 300. 3,000 attack and 300 crit damage are the goal, are the damage goals I want. Um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. I think it'll be a lot more possible when I get a counter set. Um, yeah, there's a lot of speed set stuff I have on him right now that's not wholly useful. Uh, this team I'm experimenting, this team always loses. Uh, I think in the past, both of them have just been losing. This this, uh, this guild war, they just like destroyed me. Um, can I go more? Yeah, but traditionally, like, see the first team won here, I lost both there, first team won here. So if I'm ever going to win one, it's usually the first team that can win. Um, sometimes it's both, right, like that, but if I'm going to win, it's usually the first one, and then the second one just gets destroyed. Uh, this team here is basically just, like, she's here to revive her. Um, she has Ayelas, so she strips, and she'll go first, and then she'll S3, and then, you know, do what she does, and then hopefully do some stuff later um, see how this goes uh, probably still gonna lose uh, they're not fast enough I, I don't have, none, of, none of these are over 200 speed which like you want something like that for this right you want it to go first um, but yeah I don't know Rel's here just to kind of like oh she's on counter and and she's decently healthy so if she dies she can revive her and then you know we go from there uh, but yeah that team, yeah, like I said, that team probably doesn't work very well. So I'm, I'm still kind of trying to figure out what to do as a second team. It would be a lot easier if I had like, um, I don't know, like if I had Avil or some, or just like an ML can or just somebody, another, um, another what's it called, another ML five star. It would it'll be a lot better. I think what I'm going to do though is maybe run something like this. Hmm. But one of the bigger problems is that you can just ought, like, like there's so many teams out there that are ox slots cleavable that like there's no like you can sit here all day and think about oh I'm gonna put this here I'm gonna do this um, but it's all it's just all like irrelevant because someone's just gonna ox slots cleave it anyway um, and if not if not ox slots cleave then they're just gonna ox slots like smash somebody so like this team. Like as you saw, I went into this, like there was K-Ron here with um, Cigarette. Like, I went in with DJ Basar because my Cigarette is not built anymore. I took off his, or not my Cigarette, my um, Oxlots isn't built anymore, so I can't use Oxlots right now. I need to go figure out where to get more speed gear on him. Um, but, yeah, like, th that te like this team, you just Oxlots, uh, you know, Euphine or something, kill him. Like, th these two aren't going to hurt you enough because you can't build her, like... Yeah, it's just like, Oxlots makes it so that nothing, like all your strategy is for naught, basically is what I'm saying. Um, so when people tell you like, oh, don't build that team because it's Oxlots cleavable or whatever, I don't take it too seriously. Like, I, like you can say that to me, but like you can say that about almost any team. Um, and if it's not Oxlots cleavable, it's usually just going to be Oxlotable in some way, whether it's cleave or we're going to single target you or, or do anything. Um, so that's why, like, where I am now, it's like, oh, they can ox up an oxlots. It's like, mm, don't really care. Um, you can oxlots anything I have to throw at them. So I'm just gonna try to figure it out from there. Like, take a look at some of our best defenses here, like this. 
this right here, you can oxalots this, and then just whittle down a apoc ravi. We bring oxalots somebody, and then um, what's her name? Like MLCC or, or or Crow or something, and then just like hit her until she dies. Um, see, this is what I'm talking about. So this right, this isn't this is a good team of that's not oxalotable because he'll revive. Uh, he'll just like you know activate immortality, and she's pretty tanky, right? Uh, but my problem is I don't have this, I don't have this, and like I have her, but she's not built properly. I mean, I'm, I'm working on trying to build it, I just don't have the gear. Let's take a look at some other teams here. Like this, right, I can ox slots this. Just kill him. I mean, he's, he's tankier, he, he runs him at like a 15, 16, something like that, maybe 17. I don't remember. But you can just kill this, then it's just these two, and then you'll kill him eventually. And then, what's down here? Uh, again, like, see, this is this is this is this is what is interesting about this. This is why you want to do this this way. If you can, like, you can ox slots both of these teams, but the question is, they don't. Obviously, point the point here is they don't have two ox slots, right? So you can't do that for both. Um, but yeah, so either build your team so they don't get ox slotted, or um, build your team so they can only ox slots one. It, like if they're gonna oxlots anyway, just have them oxlots one. Um, see, this is a pretty good team, I think. I think if like you get oxlots, uh, what's her name, Lilibet, kill him. Um, have like again a tank or something to distract her, uh, and then just kill him later. And then the same thing down here, something like that. Just like or instead of bringing her up there, you can bring her down here or something like that. But yeah, again, it's it's hard to oxlots when you have both your teams susceptible to oxlots. But you can only bring one oxalot anyway. I've been saying I've been saying lots too much. It's, it's starting to be it's starting to start dumb. Um, but yeah, that's it. I, I kind of went into a tangent about like team building and all that stuff. But yeah, th 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 this second team is definitely very weak on my end. Um, I do need to update this, but I don't have a whole lot of like the most top tier Guild War units, so I'm just kind of figuring it out. Um, maybe maybe like I saw someone in there. They had a Crow SSB and and her. I think it was Squirrel's defense. That looks pretty interesting, but I don't have a threat up here. Like him, her, these two together are probably fine, um, but I don't have like a someone here that'll replace what SSB is doing here. Yeah, I'll have to think about it. But yeah, that's it for today.